everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've recently celebrated my 40th birthday and I've received so many gorgeous handmade cards. I thought I would share them with you. I did this with the Christmas cards that I received and you really enjoyed the, the video. It gave you lots of inspiration. Lots of you said it was nice to see the card styles that I share and make then made by others and see how they've decorated them. So we're going to do that today. So first up, no particular order. I've just got them all next to me here. I've got this beautiful one here. Now this is the pop-up Z fold that I made with my nan and this one is let's get this party started and it's using the wonderful new stamps by Daisy May. These are the loose ladies I think it is. So it's the lady swinging from the chandelier there and she's used uh, glossy accents. This one here is from Linda and then when you open it up it's got fabulous 40. Really lovely style card there. You can see how that one stands up. So thank you for that one, it's beautiful. And then I've got this one here. So again, that same style, but this one's got the circle on the front. Looks like a hunky-dory kit to me with all the foiling, lovely circle toppers there. And I love butterflies. This one is from Tina, so thank you, Tina. And then inside that beautiful paper and a lovely sentiment there. Again, you can see how that one looks. Then we've got this one here, which has got this gorgeous layering so there's three layers there with this like scallop detail similar to this border of the fabulous there. This one's from Mary, I believe. Yeah, on the back there, you can see again that lovely die that she's used. I love the stitch numbers there as well. I think that's really nice. And it's a hammered cardstock that she's used as well. So there's a lot of texture on this one. Really, really pretty. And then I've got this one here, which was made by my mum. So if any of you don't know, my mum is also a paper crafter. She makes cards, mini albums, gift boxes back. Pretty much everything I do, she does as well. And I've learned a lot from her. So she's made this one here, which is a concertina style. What I do, like I did with the last video, is I made a playlist of all of the cards that I share today. The tutorials that I've made for those cards. So you'll be able to find them and I'll link it up here or along the video. So this one here opens up. And you have this really cool pop up and what she's done is obviously covered all of the panels, but there's little pockets. I'm not going to read what she's wrote because it's just personal, but there's little notes that she's wrote when I was born, the time, how much I weighed, all that kind of stuff. But also just other little things as well as a little pocket here. So it's kind of got that pocket letter feel you can see there. Well, this one I'll show you. 1982 House Costs, number one song, Land of Make Believe by Bucks Fizz. So she's just done that with these pockets, just little bits and pieces. And then she's wrote a lovely message on the back. And um, it's just a lovely keepsake. All of these are, all of these cards are going into my keepsake box. I have one for all of the milestone birthdays. So I've got my 21st, my 30th, 40th, 18th, all the younger ones as well. They're all in scrapbooks. But yeah, I do keep all of those milestone birthday cards. Isn't they lovely? Really like, she used some peel-offs here. All the different mirrored card. And then she's wrote a message on the back. And then you just tie that back off again with some ribbon. I love the Del Monte trim that she's used there as well. Then there's this one. I did briefly share this one when I done my launch because it's using the swing um, collection, my dies. But I love this one here is from Jenny. And I love that she's used it with, oh, I did say I think this was from a magazine, the Dove one, because I'd, I'd done a feature for it, but it could be a different Dove one. I might be getting mixed up, but it's beautiful. Really, really lovely. Love the papers. Just a really soft, very pretty card. Have a lovely day. And it is, it's been really nice. And my mum admired that one as well. Then I've got this one. Love this one. I think it's absolutely stunning. So this is using my tower die set and the beautiful giraffe. She is just stunning. This is a Pink Ink Designs giraffe. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the 40 there, which is really raised up. There's lots of dimension on this card. Are you having a giraffe? And this one is by Debbie. Lovely Debbie. I've loved looking at this one. And these look like some of my dies here. I think these are my number dies as well. It's lovely. So nice to see you know, my dies being used with your stash, other things mixing and matching. That's what I love. And um, I think it's adorable. She's got some accent glaze there as well on the eyes. It's just a stunning card. Thank you so much. And I've got this lovely box card. This has really been catching the light when it's been displayed. Look at all that sparkle. Personalise this one. 
happy birthday Sam and then it's got the 40 on the back there and then all of these pieces got some tool this one is by uh, Sue and Mark thank you so much it's gorgeous I've loved it got the little champagne and glass cocktail glasses stars balloons there's so much in this box card it's just gorgeous and they all fold flat it's been really nice knowing like you know obviously envelopes have been turning up and they've been padded and I'm like oh I wonder what this one is so it's been so lovely to open them all and I've got this pretty one here this is using one of my creative cuts this one is from Benita you can see all that lovely detail We've got sparkle on the flowers got the butterfly all the papers there and the 40 and then these ones see that beautiful detail that you get and again it's just it's been lovely displayed that one i really like it and then this one here so this is a triple easel card i'd forgot how lovely these cards are and i've got two really lovely tutorials and these work by you, you start off with the first one and then each one will sit behind the other one and you get this gorgeous dimensional very striking card you can see how that one looks so if you've made an easel then try a triple because they are lots of fun but again butterflies which i love got this lovely tiered kind of um or what's it called uh, cupcake stand and you can see all of the again you've got the glaze on all of this and on the flowers there and then these are the acetate butterflies i've got lots of them they're gorgeous and it just proves, you know, this has been sent in the post and they still just pop up. They're, they're just perfect for sending in the mail, those butterflies, because they don't flatten. And this one was from Kath. So thank you, Kath. It's gorgeous. Really lovely one. Loved all the mirrored card on that as well. And then they just stack down like so. And I think that would probably go probably a six by eight envelope, I would have thought. Because it's six by six there and then that's about one inch and then another inch. So easy to make an envelope then we've got this one here this is another really lovely one so this is the dome card and then this one lights up so just inside here this is from let me just double check this is from tracy ann and you just turn it on there we go i mean it's daylight now but you can imagine how lovely this has looked and it's all multicolored lights pink and green lovely colors one of my favorite paper pads that's a first edition paper pad but it's just, yeah, they've all kind of matched. Like all of the cards have had colours that I've really liked. And yeah, it's just been so lovely. And yeah, just I've had a lovely time celebrating. But yeah, that one there. And I've got to remember to turn the lights off because I'd like to be able to, you know, when you do sometimes reminisce and go back through your keepsakes and stuff. It's like I've got old cards that my granddad sent my nan in like the 60s and they still work. So yeah. And those they're lovely that's the large christina card making magic christina griffiths that's the large um numbers and these look like they're from my tower borders could be wrong but they look like they are <laughs> and then we've got this one here this i thought was really clever so it's using the tower with the pop-up bouquet and i'd never thought but it fits perfectly this one is from sue i'm um, sorry this one's from susan really clever season so you can see how that one displays it did it does stand i had to pull it down that way there we go wonderful i thought that's really clever and again my mum was like isn't that a cool card <laughs> let me just sort that out there there we go really loved it again using those let's celebrate papers use the glaze all over the the bow there and then the flowers these are all from the creative cuts collection the leaves in fact you put the glaze over all of those leaves as well just realized beautiful really lovely very fun card then i've got this one here this is my five by seven shutter die set you just slide the belly band off and then when you open this one up it reveals that lovely message enjoy your beautiful mo enjoy the beautiful moments special birthday again butterflies love the butterflies lovely smile sentiment there and then the 40 which is using my number dies there really lovely and then that displays like so and then i just kept the belly band in the front really really pretty thank you for that one simone <laughs> then i've got this one this was so funny this one my dad was like this is awesome 
So this one here has been sent from Christine, Maisie, Lexi and family. And it's one of my display style ones. Again, like I said, they're all be linked in that playlist. But basically that will hold it at the back and then it stands up like this. But it's Bob Ross. <laughs> and it's all been decoupaged. Christine, how did you do this one? I guess, obviously, was it maybe a kit or did you carefully cut this all yourself? Really good. Here's a happy little birthday card just for you. If you don't know, I am a Bob Ross fan and um, I have a little Bob Ross shrine in my craft room. And uh, this is going to stay out with that because it's just so much fun. I just smile. He makes me smile. I think he's a lovely guy and um, still continues to inspire and make people happy now. So, yeah, I love it. Just really, really clever. So thank you for that one. A couple of my friends were like, well, who the hell, what the hell is that man? They're, they just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you know you know um then i got this gorgeous one here i love rosettes and the holographic card this one again is really caught the light in the morning um i've got a disco ball in my dining room so it catches the light and this was reflecting with it as well so yeah it's quite nice you can see all that lovely shine it's like a big starburst embossing folder that's been used and this one is from oh yeah i'll show you the back on this one this is from Jeanette. look at the back how cool is that you're 18 with 22 years of experience <laughs> <laughs> really really fun love that thank you so much then i've got this one here this one's from Stephen maria really lovely one so he's used my papers from the twist and pop collection i think it was so you just slide off the belly band love the belly band that top is really cool especially for you on your 40th birthday and then some of you recognize this card isn't that cool got a showstopper <laughs> to be fair all of these cards are showstoppers because they've all been wonderful i like this this piece here that i think he's printed off wrinkles merely indicate where the smiles have been 40 years young they say age is all in the mind the trick is keeping it from creeping down into your body really lovely papers there with all the foiling really cool and then on the back Sam Calcott, we regret to inform you, your 30s have expired. And there's Bob Ross again. <laughs> oh, it's from Max as well. Sorry, Steve, forgot to mention Max. Dear Sam, we hope your birthday is as lovely as you are. With love and best wishes, Steve, Marie and Max. Yeah, really cool. Love it. And I've got this one here. This is from my sister's mother-in-law. She's also a crafter. So she's got Hello 40 and then she's... This has been heat embossed and then there's this um, Nouveau, I think it is, and glitter that's been popped on the ends there. Really pretty and there's a little embellishment in the corner there as well. That's from Mandy and Martin. Thank you. And then I've got this one here. Happy 40th birthday. And this is a present, but with all the iris folding. And I've said I want to do iris folding, so I'm going to give it a go. So much, like, it's really padded. Such a tactile card. Love all of this detail. It's all layered up. It's really clever. And then these are like puffy stickers. They're padded. Really cool. And that one is from Rebecca. So thank you, Rebecca. Really lovely, that one. And then I've got this one here. So I've got this lovely box, especially for you. And those papers are from my when I again launched the uh, yeah, Creative Cuts. And then inside here is this really pretty card. And that's using the stamps again from Creative Cuts. You've got the number dies there, the papers. And then you've got this, this unusual card here. Isn't that clever? That kind of and it sits like so. And that one is from Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's gorgeous. Really unusual style there. And then it was all in that lovely box. So that's going to keep it protected. What I'll probably do is maybe do like in 10 years time, if I'm still on YouTube, we can do like a throwback and I can maybe recreate these cards again. And then I've got this one here. This is the tricorn card. So on the back there, I thought that was brilliant. Those very large numbers. Really cool. This is from Avril. And this card is like this. So when it stands, that pops out as well. There we go. So that's how it looks when you stand it up. Haven't made this style for a while, actually. So I think it's something I should, you know, revisit. And these are the flowers from the Creative Cuts collection as well. It's a really cool design. Love that one. 
and then I've got this one here. So again, it's the five by seven shutter, lovely topper on that one. And this is from K. And again, you open this one up. Oh yeah, I remember now it's got the lady. Again, the same lady, the Daisy May one on the chandelier, but she's popped her on a wobbler. <laughs> <laughs> these really made me smile they really did we and again because my mum's so appreciative of handmade cards being a crafter as well and um, we were just really we were really like oh my god look and look it does that or look at that I love that and it was just I love it I really do thank you so much it was such a fun card and then this one here this is from Rachel Rachel got confessed Charlie grabbed this one and um, he did he did pull it and this bit has come straight out <laughs> So apologies but it did still display fine um i'd had it displayed to be honest for a while before he managed to get it but you can see how this one looks so it's a triple what did i call this one triple triple tiered slider something like that it's a really nice card um lots of people decorated these like cakes i decorated mine as a jungle theme so again they will be in that playlist but isn't that lovely pop fizz clink and then the big 40 again that's the christina's numbers they seem to be popular lovely big topper that I um I've used a lot myself it's a favorite and then you've got the stand on the back there as well so it does display like I said before he grabbed it it did just hold itself but I do have to kind of rest it there but it's going to be it's going to be kept safe now <laughs> and then they all slide back in there and uh, that all goes in an envelope and then also I got this one which was from Avril as well which is gorgeous and this is gonna I'm gonna keep this displayed in my craft room she made this beautiful box and that was the same as the, the tricorn. So you can see where she's kind of kept my favourite colours, yellow, orange and pink. It was really thoughtful. And then it was all wrapped in tissue. Obviously, I've opened this before, but I just wanted to show you how it all came to me. And she's made me this decorative frame and it's gorgeous. Like I said, I'm going to keep this in my craft room. I did push that right in. There we go. And I'll keep all of that. in my keepsake box but how beautiful is this you inspire me i love making these shadow boxes you know they don't have to just be for cards they're great for home decor pieces as well and um, i love it you inspire me it was so lovely and very very thoughtful and um yeah happy 40th sam so i've got a little reminder on the back there but i'm going to keep that one i'm going to find somewhere to put it i might pop some ribbon and then I can probably hang it off of one of my units or something. But it's going to match my craft room perfectly. So thank you so much. Oh, I think I've got a stray, got a stray leaf there. Oh, there we go. We've got a little bit of tape. Let's just see. When you're a crafter, you know what to do. We're just going to pop that one back in there. There we go. Perfect. So I just want to again say thank you so much to everybody who sent me cards, wished me a happy birthday, left comments on the group, sent me emails, messages. I've still got so much to go through. It's been a crazy first few weeks of January for me. It's not actually been the kind of quiet start to the year. I had two launches. I've had my birthday and obviously other work commitments as well. So it's just been incredibly busy. So I will go back through and reply to as many of you as possible. And uh, yeah, just thank you so much. I feel extremely blessed and I've had a fantastic birthday. I'll be back very soon with more tutorials. I've got lots of fun stuff to share and hopefully we'll start to get back into a routine of what it was like before Christmas. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.